right now. I'm in my pajamas. They look great. Hey guys, Jonathan Brown Menzies here with the Sperry Top Sider Boat Shoes. And these are a product that I've really gotten my money's worth from. I've been wearing these shoes the past maybe four or five years and they have held up great, really withstood the test of time. It's true, they're a little bit pricey, about a hundred bucks, but when you amortize that cost over time or per wear, you got a real bargain on your hands. I feel like I found the sweet spot right in the middle. Certainly a lot cheaper than those big sneaker brands and fancy pants menswear shoes. And I feel like they hold up even better. Now, sure, you can find cheaper topsiders out there from those discount big box stores, but they're not gonna hold up for five years like these have. Now the first signs of wear you get with Sperry topsiders are right here on the bottom of the shoe. They wear out. In the past, I've even had holes. Back in the day when I didn't have a lot of money, I was watching my budget more than I am now. I used to put duct tape on the bottom just to squeeze an extra two, three weeks of wear out of these shoes until I could afford to buy a new one. Luckily, I don't have to resort to those drastic measures anymore. I see these shoes are getting close to the end of their lifespan, and I can tell them, thank you for your service, throw them right in the trash. And the other problem you're gonna encounter is the mesh here is gonna disconnect from the bottom of the shoe. You can see a pretty big hole there. That's definitely a weak link, but hey, they're still wearable. The shoe's not gonna fall apart or anything. The thing I like about Sperry Topsiders is they're versatile. Right now, I'm in my pajamas. They look great. I also wear them with khakis, with jeans. Some people wear them with shorts. Some people wear them without socks, although I don't like doing that. I think it's uncomfortable. But in the summertime, you can wear thin socks like these. And in the wintertime, just swap out your socks for something a little warmer and you're gonna be nice and toasty. Probably my favorite thing about these shoes is they are low maintenance. You tie a double knot once, they stay tied. Because let me tell you something, guys. If you're on a tight schedule like I am, tying your shoes every day, untying them every day, that gets old. That's a few minutes you could be doing something productive. They also come in handy if you're going to the airport, going through TSA where you gotta take your shoes off. Everybody else is untying their shoes, taking them off. You're just slipping them right off like that. Easy as can be. And when it's time to put them back on, slip your foot in there, hold it with your hand, in there like swimwear, no shoehorn required. This front here does stain if something drips on it. But you know what I think? It just adds to the character. I've never treated these, put any conditioning on them, and I think they look better than the day I bought them. Having said that, guys, it is time to upgrade. This is the official name, Sperry Men's Billfish 3i Boat Shoe Dark Tan. Extra wide, I don't need that, but I guess they got it if you do. $109 thanks to Jeff Bezos on Amazon. Got the same exact price right on the Sperry website. That's kind of weird. I don't know why they couldn't undercut Amazon because they're the manufacturer after all. Got 4.3 out of 5 stars on Sperry's website. And four to five stars on Amazon. Country of origin, of course, made in China, but what isn't these days? And they only weigh a pound, lightweight. I've always appreciated that. This guy, Whiskey MN, agrees with me. Fit well and wear well. Nothing I would have done differently. Great shoe for the price. That's true, happened for years. Nomadic Lifer here says, these shoes fit my wide feet comfortably. I wear them all the time, even for airline travel. And that's true, guys. These may be the best shoes ever for airline travel. This guy says the best, most comfortable shoes that I own, can't beat them. And guys, that's the name of the game. Comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. Check this out, good shoe. I've been wearing these Sperry shoes since 1981. This style's both comfortable and durable. And you see a lot of diehard Sperry fans out there. This is all you're gonna see on their feet. Time to shake and bake, guys. Let's order this thing. And here it is, guys. The shoes have arrived. Looks like they use a poly bag to ship it. I've already cut the other end, so let's just slip Flip it right out of there. And it comes in a shoe box just like normal sneakers do. Flip it up, got a little tissue paper in there. Here's one. Oh, they're individually wrapped, I guess. Very nice, very nice. They got these uh, wooden inserts in here. Look like chopstick type things to keep them open. Get this tissue out of the front. Come on, get out of there. Ah. 
There we go. This is interesting. They're already tied. This one is anyway. The knot's coming out of this one. I just want to give you guys a comparison. The new and the old. Looks like I got a slightly different color last time. Gonna go dark this time. And this is the difference. Looks like this little pillow here. It's still intact in the old one, although it's nothing like the new one, as cushy as this one is. But naturally, that's what you'd expect. Brand new shoe, right? And no real difference on the bottom. Still got the three strips here. The treads look pretty much the same although the old one's worn out. But well, like I said, it's only natural. A five-year-old shoe with heavy wear, it's like an old tire. Turn them over again, and the brand new shoe is a little bit narrower, but that's only temporary, guys. It takes a little while to break these shoes in. And I'll say this, guys, they're very forgiving. No matter what your foot size is, they're gonna adjust to accommodate you. And like I showed you before, whether it's thin summer socks, thick winter socks, doesn't matter. Anything goes with the Sperry Top Sider. Well, obviously, brand new shoe, I'm not gonna be able to just slip my foot in. I'm gonna have to go through the motions the first few times, untie it, loosen it up a little bit, pull up the tongue. Oh, look at this. There's still another piece of plastic in here or cardboard that I didn't even realize. Oh yeah, that is nice. That is nice. And here we are, got them all laced up and they feel great. Like I said, first few times, you're gonna have to take your time, put them on like a normal sneaker, go through the untying, tying, lift up the tongue and all that. That's only temporary. First thing I'm noticing is they maintain their structure and support. Whereas these old shoes, they were so broken in, that it was like walking on a cloud. I'm not gonna say these are uncomfortable though. I'm about to go for a long walk right now, put them through their paces. And I'll tell you this, I feel a little bit more secure. I step on a thumbtack, for example, it's not going through this into my foot. Whereas the old shoes, if I stepped on a thumbtack right here, I was playing with fire and I would probably be a hurting puppy. So tell me, what do you guys think? Any fans of the Sperry Topsiders out there? Have you been wearing them? Any tips and tricks to make them last longer? Thanks for joining me on this video as I pass another milestone, unbox another pair of Sperry Topsiders. Guys, if you like this video right now, hit that like button, I'd really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart helps out the algorithm and if you really like it and you want to see more please subscribe until next time with the old school sperry topsiders about to go in the trash jonathan brown menzies signing off